What, people? What do you mean I'm letting Wolfman go first so that he can draw fire? That's crazy talk. You people are crazy. Crazy. I can't search anything in here. It's parabolas. I'm assuming we're going to have a lot of fighting on the way back. After we finally do what we need to do with this thing. That sounds fair. Hello. Hello. Someone has a Happy Meal. Ooh. I'll take the fries. You can have the drink too, sir. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> mm. Um, is this... Those were pretty tasty. Little bit stale, but... All in all, not bad. Nothing but combat turrets. But no way to open the doors. And the parabola is up top. Which tells me we need to go up this way. But, oh, 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 there it is. Oh, of course, a ladder. We're coming, parabola. Nice. <laughs> Welcome. May I help you? I want to establish a connection to the foreign co with a foreign colony. This request requires a level 2 authorization clearance. Request authorized. I, Agent, please enter the coordinates. 47.9, 126.43. The parabolic antenna does not respond and the power is currently diverted to the survival system. Please manually connect the, an auxiliary generator and start the process again. We didn't bring stuff, did we? Hmm? We didn't bring repair stuff, did we? I... Uh, can we? Uh, I don't... There's didn't he say to... Uh-oh. What was that? I, I would assume that that was just something that, like, is innocuous. It's not like a piece of equipment you pick up that I saw. Okay, so we can go down there. What if we do jump down there? Where is that? Looks like there's a treasure chamber over there. Ooh. I like treasure. Well, it all loops down over here anyway, so we're going to be going down regardless. Cool. Um. Yeah. We got to go way down to get to the generator. Mm. Maintenance access. Should we have used that? Radio. Oh, this is going to be frustrating. Wait, what is this? Good day, sir. Master human. Give me your ID drone. Blah, 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 because it's a lot of numbers in Scraboob. Right. Oh, I remember this. Me and my friend found it on our. Uh, co-op campaign, but we couldn't figure out what to do with them. Waiting instructions. Where are your Cultair Day Masters? What happened here? Give me info on the security system of this area. No information on file. Multiple casualties possible. Weak echoes possible in sub-level 2. I just gotta say, your clone scared the shit out of me. I haven't seen him in ages and he just ran up to you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Another request? Yes. Um, what happened here? Unknown force presented, or presence detected, multiple violent deaths, major malfunctions, contact lost with Talion squadron. Another request? Yes. Give me the info on the security systems of the area. Automated defense system, MK3 combat turrets, alpha generation, many intruders presence detected, level 5 sequencing activated. Another request? No nothing. I guess you just get some information as to what happened from it. Yeah. That's my clone, not you. There you are. Happy meal over here. Happy meal here! Oh, here's your other clone. Where have they been? I don't know. They came from this way. Getting rid of them now, though. We have to go down. I'm not sure. Did I just kill that thing? I don't know. <sighs> I may have lost it. No, nope, it's still up. It's good. I was about to say, I thought killing those things lowers your actual, um... It sounds like something is... moaning. Hmm. Now we 
I can't do anything with that. You said you found maintenance? There was a maintenance access over this way. Don't you see the marker? Oh, now I see it. Oh, okay. How did we... Uh... I guess just... Oh, maybe we have to go up the stairs. Yeah. To use it. I wish there was like a mini-map or something. Yeah, your load's faster than me. I'm weighted down with turrets. <laughs> Oh wait, happen. come here. What the hell happened there? I should heal you. Oh, wow. You took damage. Fire, I took damage too, yeah. I didn't take damage going through that on the way out. No. Oh wait, I don't even remember it. John. Oh, I think I jumped down before we even hit that. Okay. Maintenance axe. Oh shoot. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> Are you climbing or just drop? I'm cl I'm climbing. Oh. I I pushed out. There's the generator. Coming. Something. <laughs> We're gonna end up having to kill a bunch of things. I hope this is you down here. Yep. yep. Cool. Because sometimes the marker, you know, points in the wrong direction and stuff. Power's gonna come back on, I bet. Or not. Oh, I guess now we get to go back up and align the parabola. So the other way that we didn't use the the non maintenance access direction we took was just wasting time. <laughs> Why can I not climb up? I don't know. Did you press the wrong button? I don't know. I was hitting F on the ladder. It wasn't letting me go up. Huh. Welcome. May I help you? I want to resume the current process. This request requires public authorization clearance. Quest authorized I agent. Satellite alignment in progress. Vindico wishes you a good and productive day. As soon as that happens, all the poo is going to hit the fan. Do your turrets stay there Con indefinitely? So you can they should. With they should do. Meanwhile, I'm gonna boost my karma. This does not look like the area that we held out uh -oh. when I was doing the campaign before, so... Go back to Dutch using the maintenance tunnels again. Yeah. Not going to waste my uh, turrets here. You know, I haven't broken a single thing every time I've fallen down, so I'm just jumping down from now on. I'm when, oh. <laughs> when what height do you have to actually fall down in order to actually take damage in this game, I'm wondering. I'm uh, not sure. Well, you are damaged again. I should probably dose you here. Oh. There you go. Thank you. Y you lost about 20 health. I guess you just didn't break anything. Maybe I did drop the turrets in the right place. You just didn't remember this part. Yeah, I just didn't know we were going to come back. I just didn't, forgot we were going to come back to there. That could have killed us had I not shut everything off. Yeah. Oh my gosh, no way. Oh my. Hello, ladies. I don't like these people because they always shoot at me. Welcome, traveler. Do you have time to listen to my tale? I don't know. Yes, as if you were confused. You intensely concentrate. No, I refuse. Or you concentrate your rage. Silent witch, prepare to disappear. Of uh, one, I'd say. We don't want them to kill us. 
Very well. This is the tale of a wolf spirit which traveled from plane to plane to find creatures. When his task was done, he was plunged. He plunged them into his own spirit in a sort of never-ending waking dream. Not really alive, not re entirely dead. It was his only way to combat his loneliness. In the recesses of his mind, which was also the mind of the world, or was it his prey? One day he met a man, one who must not be named. This man was searching for something, without knowing exactly why exactly. He followed a goal known only to him. He had a great hypnotic power. The spirit wolf battled him. One absorbed the other, and the other became one. Were they fused? Did one of them defeat the other? It doesn't matter because this man, or maybe this thing, finally knows what it is he seeks. Some legends, however, tell of a spirit wolf sometimes appearing to lost souls. Still others think that it's another entity, and many more do, do not believe in such tales at all. Harmony, Felicity, and... What's your name? I lost your name. Hmm, weird. Let's talk with Felicity. Yeah. I welcome you and joy, with joy and peace to our temporary space. Could you take some time to listen to the fatal tragedy of the artifact? I accept as if I were confused. Long ago, a tale wherein one who must no longer be named was looking for a strange artifact. This artifact would allow him to multiply his strange powers. After many years of searching the galaxy, he found it but couldn't really use it. Then one day, the, only, the one who must no longer be named vanished. During this time, he finally came to understand and use the artifact. Some see in his fame both a mirror into their own souls as well as a warning concerning the practice and use of necro-cybermancy. On the other hand, others think that is a metaphorical genie or genesis of the influence of the Force upon your own race, or that it is symbolical, a symbolical version of the beginning of what is referred to as the incident. Some others agree that the legends are actually historical fact. But mo most ignore this as fable. Your predecessor only asked one question. Does the artifact really exist? To this question we do not have the answer. Let us suppose that any point of view is subjective. Suppose as well as our own perceived realities are also subjective. Are beings in fact imprisoned by their own intrinsic beliefs? Maybe the artifact to escape for us. Whatever the case, the one who seeks to control always fails. Okay, for the other one, you've got to use Southern Bell. Southern Bell? Oh my gosh, yeah. I don't even know how to. I don't know how to do Southern Bell. <laughs> I always end up doing it by accident. But. <laughs> accident away. <laughs> we haven't seen many people for so long. Would you be willing to listen to a legend? Doesn't sound Southern Bellish, does it? <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you a story of one who must not be named. Or rather, the Voldemort. <laughs> the one who can no longer be named. This man lived in a time far from yours, but it only represents a minimal, a minute fraction of the cosmos. He's, he dedicated the first part of his existence to the perfection of his being. Early on, he started to look at the meaning behind all things. This was the reason why we would say he didn't know what he was searching for. He developed a large array of talents and incredible powers. Among those was a mass hypnosis technique he used to pacify his home region. His power created more than just hallucinations. Some of his victims were changed as if they had become prisoners of their own minds. When an unknown event forced him to continue his journey, he was on a quest for more power. He then met a strange creature, the Spirit Wolf. From their battle resulted a being more powerful than any one of them alone. Was it the result of a union between the two, or did one best the other in common? The one who must no longer be named, or the Spirit Wolf, or something else, departed with a purpose he could not abandon. And this has been the side boob hour with Peter Griffin. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the door? Yeah.